Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to export your Figma designs and import them straight into Wix Studio using the Figma to Wix Studio plugin. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually head on over to Figma. And here is this file that we're gonna be importing and we're gonna be testing out doing the home page design here, right? So what we're gonna do first is go down over to our plugins icon here, our actions, and I'm gonna type in Figma to X Studio. And just like that, Figma to X Studio is one of the first options for me, because I think it's a recent search. And then I'm gonna set up export. Now what we need to do is head on over to Wix Studio. We're gonna go up to the top left bar, go to tools, and we're gonna see an option to import from Figma. Perfect. Now let's go back over to Figma. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab this share link here. Anyone can view and we'll go ahead and copy the link. Perfect. And we'll head back over to Wix Studio and we'll paste in that link we got from Figma and press connect. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, the name of our project, which we can see right here and right up here, we can see that that matches the name that we have right here. So that means our Figma document is connected to our Wix Studio website. Perfect. And now what we can do is with the app or the plugin, what we can do is say, I'm done. I'm, I'm done connecting my file and start export. Now the first step that I would recommend and even the app recommends it is to export your style. So it's gonna pull your fonts and colors and import that for you. And that is one less step for you to do inside of Wix Studio. This is probably, honestly, my favorite feature of this plugin. And just like that, it has reviewed our project, found all of the different styles, found the colors and typography, and we can go ahead and export that and send it over to Wix Studio. And we head on over to Wix Studio we should now see our colors and our fonts have been applied here. Now I will say um, the Sora semi-bold font has is not showing up. So what we can easily do is just go ahead and press upload font. And I'll just go ahead and drag this one in. Perfect. And now that we have uploaded this font, we'll press done. And at the very bottom, we're gonna say apply styles to site. And just like that, if we come over to our site styles, and we'll go to all, we can see our Figma colors are here and even our fonts are right here as well. I think that looks really, really good. And now we are done with that. Let's go ahead and switch back over to the Figma to Wix Studio plugin here and we'll go back over to Wix Studio. Now that we have imported our styles, let's go ahead and press back and now let's export a frame. So what that means is if we select this frame right here, like the home page, after it loads, it's going to evaluate our selection here. And then in just about a second, it's gonna say, oh, do you wanna export this frame? Yes, I do. So we're gonna press export frame. And if we head back over to Wix Studio and we refresh our import, then just like that, our homepage is gonna be right here. Now I will say, obviously the Figma design that we have here, if we look here at the width, it is 1440. But if we look at the editing size that we're building our website on, it's set to 1280. Now I have imported things with mismatched framing and editing sizes and it, it kind of just worked, but this has always told me that it's best practice to go ahead and set the editing size to match the frame. Perfect. And now let's go ahead and grab this. Now, what we have selected over here is the entire home page, right? So when we're gonna export this, we want to export this as or or import this, I should say, as a page. So let's go ahead and click add to site. And after about 10 minutes, it has finally finished uh, building the page. But now let's go ahead and check it out. There are a few things that I do wanna take note of here. When this app first got released, it would never add like margin and padding and stuff like that, or at least I never noticed it did. And now it does seem to do that, which I think is really, really awesome. Um, another thing to note is that it is now stacking things together. I don't think it might have done that in the past, actually, but it's really cool to see that it's not just slapping elements on the page and sections. It's actually like building them how, you know, someone like a professional would, right? So I think that that's really cool. And as we scroll down, we can kind of check out how it looks and 
honestly, it is it is actually astonishing from what I remember. When this app first came out, it was completely different. And now it's actually like, to me, like it's actually like a world's better than what I remember. Um, I gotta I gotta admit that. So it's actually kind of cool to see how well it's come, come along. But as you can see, there's always a little bit of errors and that will take a little bit of fixing and stuff like that. But overall, it has done a fantastic job. Now, another thing I do want to note about this, if we go up to the menu, you can see these are just text elements. They're not, it's not a menu element. Also, if we scroll down to this area right here, this is not, this is just a stack. It, this is not a repeater element. So if we take a look at, you know, Wix Studios to Figma, their Figma to Wix Studio plugins guide, if we scroll down, um, eventually, if we scroll down to this area right here, it says this plugin does not auto recognize menus, forms, galleries, videos, and input elements. Now, I think when it means galleries, it's also including things like repeaters. Um, so unfortunately, menus, forms, galleries, videos, and input elements, those are gonna have to be basically recreated. So if we go back over to our website, you know, this would look a lot better inside of a repeater. Same with the blog section here. And you know, the menu up here doesn't look quite right either. Um, and if there was a form on this page, which I don't remember seeing, then like, let's say there was a contact form or a newsletter form on the page, you need to recreate that as well. It doesn't recognize that. But overall, you know, it took about 10 minutes for the Figma to Wix Studio plugin to do its thing and build this page for me. And it did it so well. And so maybe spending another 10 minutes to add a menu and, and make sure that this header is actually in a header element and moving this footer into the footer and replacing these links with like other menus and and maybe changing out things for a repeater like if we spend 10 maybe 20 minutes doing that then we just built a page within like 30 minutes so just for fun if i were to grab this section and do responsive ai i just kind of want to see what it would do and after a couple minutes, it has completed the design, but let's go ahead and check it out. I think for, you know, tablet and uh, desktop, it looks good, but let's go ahead and check out mobile. Uh, mobile could definitely use a little bit more work, but honestly, it's still a pretty good start from what it was. So we could just go ahead and press apply and we could see how we could change this a little bit. So let's go ahead and grab like the main stack and we are going to up the left and the right. Let's let's see what like 24 does. I think that looks good. Um, for this stack, uh, let's go ahead and look at the container and we'll just remove, um, remove it from here. We can even remove the item spacing in between the items. And I think that is already looking a lot better. Uh, for this, uh, let's go ahead and just set the buttons to be like 100% width. So I think that would look a little bit nicer. And let's, let's get this little pop up out the way. I don't like it when it does that. But there we go. That looks a lot better than what we had. And then for this, we could even just change this to maybe like 32 pixels. Perfect. And I think that looks really, really good for mobile. But that's basically going to wrap it up for today's video. I am actually a pretty big fan of the Figma 2 Wix Studio app. I'm actually quite impressed because I do not remember adding the margins and paddings that a professional would have added when it first released. So doing it today for you guys really showed me that like they've made improvements and it's actually coming together and becoming a really good app. I look forward to the day though that I can recognize menus and forms and repeaters and things of that nature. I think that will be a complete game changer for the app or plugin. But again, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.